Alright, hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of VLC PDFR. Today I'm celebrating my 2,000 subscribers with a Q&A video for you, featuring the City of Phoenix Police. Uh, this skin was made by Bugs from Code Zero Gaming, so special thanks to Bugs for doing such a great job on this skin. Um, I'm also going to feature this in a future video, so this will not be the only time that you see uh, the Phoenix Police. Also, I have the uh, palm mod installed, which basically just takes all the trees and makes them into palm trees, uh, just to make this more of a feel of a Phoenix episode. So, once again, guys, I want to personally thank every single one of you who has subscribed to me, who continues to watch my videos. I greatly appreciate it. I just wanted to take a little bit of time today to um, to personally thank you all and answer some of your questions. Uh, so it's not so I'm not just a voice behind a screen. You all get to know me a little bit better. Um, and all that. So this will be kind of a short episode. I'm just going to answer your questions and then that'll do it. So uh, let's just get out to driving here and uh, answer some of these questions. Alright, the first one is, do you think it's true that you will be able to customize your vehicle in Grand Theft Auto 5? Um, it wouldn't surprise me if that's true. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be pretty epic. So I, uh, from the screenshots I've seen, it looks like it's going to be just a wonderful game. Um, and it would not surprise me one bit if it allowed you to customize vehicles, and I hope that that's true, because that would be pretty damn awesome. So, while I don't know for a fact if it's true, I, I would say it wouldn't surprise me, but at the same time, you know, I, I just don't know if it's true or not. So, who knows? Who knows what we can expect from GTA V. Alright, the next question is, do you ever play Grand Theft Auto regular, or do you only play LCPDFR? Um... I used to play Grand Theft Auto 4 um, all the time until I beat it. Um, once I beat it, uh, I quit playing it. Uh, the reason I played Grand Theft Auto 4 to beat it was so I could learn the controls, master, master the controls, so that way when I um, started playing LCPDFR, I would uh, know all the controls and all that. So that's the reason that I did that. Um, took me about three weeks to beat GTA 4, so once I beat it, um, I started playing LCPDFR. Alright, the next question. How does it feel to be in a popular clan, and uh, how did you join? Um, don't ever ask Avs that question. Uh, she'll tear your head off. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're not a clan. We're a gaming group. Uh, we never claim to be a clan. Um, so, uh, but as far as my gaming group goes, uh, feels, you know, it's awesome to be a part of Code Zero, uh, what they've done, you know, they pretty much pioneered LCPDFR, and, uh, to be playing with them is, is awesome, uh, you know, needless to say, so, uh, and I joined by, uh, I started my own LCPDFR series, and, uh, after a couple of episodes, I wrote Avs a message and asked her if I could play with, with them sometime, and uh, they took a look at my channel and said that they liked what they saw, and, I, and the rest is history. So, that sums that up uh, pretty much right there. Alright, next question. Uh, are you married? Do you have kids? And do you really chase chickens and ducks at your job? Okay, first, first part of that question. No, I'm not married. Um, I am engaged, but I'm not married yet. Um, and I do not have children at this time and I don't really plan on having kids uh, but if it happens it happens um, so that answers that stupid. the second question um, do I really chase chickens and ducks at work this all started because one day at my job uh, a chicken got loose and I had to chase it uh, so bugs apparently thinks that that's all I do now is you know chase chickens so it was one time I chased a chicken um, so I don't do it regularly uh, it has happened before um, but I don't do it regularly. Uh, ducks, we have a pond where I work, and I have to keep the ducks out of the pool and stuff like that. So, um, I don't chase them, I would say, all the time, but that's not all I do. So, um, yeah, that pretty much takes care of that one. Alright, next question. What is your favorite TV show? I actually have a lot of favorite TV shows. Um, I really like, uh, Boston's Finest right now. That, uh, that show's pretty awesome. Um, I always catch it when it's on. I never miss it. It's one of the only shows that I, you know, absolutely have to watch. Um, I like Southland, which comes on right after that. It's a, it's a, a fictional police show about LAPD. Um, one of my, like, funnier shows that I like right now is, uh, Myrtle Manor on TLC. <laughs> it's, a it's a pretty funny show. So, um, 
I'll watch that, everyone. It's about a trailer park in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, so... What the fuck, guy? Are you serious? Idiot. Alright. So, on to the next question. Um, how did you come up with your YouTube name? Uh, my nickname in high school was Coyote. I don't know why. Um, one of the more popular kids uh, at school would call me that. And uh, I just kind of went with it. So, um, you know, people started calling me Coyote. So I took the Yodi out of Coyote and uh, Lex from Lexington, and there you go, guys. Yodi Lex. Explains that. Couldn't be any more cut and dry. All right. Are you a police officer? Next question is, are you a police officer or do you want to be one? I am not a police officer. Um, I work in private security um, right now, so I'm not an officer. And yes, I do want to be a police officer. I'm in the process right now of applying for a couple of departments. Um, so wish me luck, because I would love nothing more than to get paid to do this stuff. Alright, next question. How old are you? Never ask a lady that. Did I just call myself a lady? Um, I am 26 years old, so I'm not, not a part of the younger crowd anymore. I'm getting, I'm getting old. Um, so yeah, 26, and I'm, uh... I'm not the youngest member in Code Zero, but I'm I'm close. All right, the next question is: Do you know how to code or mod? Um, I do not. I don't know how to do shit, honestly. I don't do shit on my own. That is my motto. It literally is: I do not do shit on my own. Uh, Bugs basically makes my made makes most of, or some of my skins. Uh, sends me the cars. Uh, sends me the mods that I need, and. Uh, just tells me where to put it. Um, you know, when I first installed LCPDFR and learned how to do that, it was uh, YouTube that taught me. Now it's pretty much Code Zero that teaches me everything. So, no, I don't know how to do any, any of that stuff. I can barely um, install the mods that, you know, they give me. All right, next question. What is your favorite music and music artist? Um, I don't really have favorite music. I love to listen to all kinds of music. Um, I would say rap and country are my two top favorites to listen to. Uh, depends on my mood. Um, my favorite artist. That 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 really is a hard question. Um, there's a lot of um, of artists I like. I uh, I do a little bit of songwriting on the side, so. Um, you know, I'd say right now I listen to. Uh, I really like Jana Kramer right now. Uh, she's a country music artist. Uh, she's just got an amazing voice. And uh, and I, I like her music right now. I don't care if that makes me look like a girl. I will stand out in the streets and tell everybody, yep, I listen to Jana Kramer. I am not ashamed of that. All right. Next question. Where do you like to travel or what's your favorite vacation spot? I love to travel everywhere. Um... I would say my favorite vacation spot... Ah, oh, you got drugs. Drugs marker. My favorite vacation spot is probably Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's close to me. I've been there. Uh, it's like my second home. I go every single year. Um, so, yeah. That would be my favorite vacation spot. Phoenix, Arizona. I love going to Phoenix. All that shit heap um, I have family out in Phoenix. So, uh, I love to travel out there whenever I get a chance. The weather is just fantastic. The people aren't bad in Phoenix either. Um, so it makes it makes it good traffic's uh, traffic's okay, but Show some respect. Not as bad as Miami. I went to Miami last year uh, Trying to do something different and fuck did I regret that All right Break away from a question here just a little bit. We uh, we're pulling this guy over. He had a drugs marker So I'm gonna check his ID and then when I get back, I'm gonna see if uh, he has any drugs on him. Evan Baldwin. Right, he's good. I mean, I technically, just because he has a drugs marker doesn't give me reason to search him, but... Thank you. Okay, so I'll... There's cocaine. And he pulls an AK and he immediately dies. That is... Kind of uh, what I figured would happen. All right, so that was um. Two, 
that was eventful. All right. Last question I actually have. Uh, like I said, I didn't have a whole lot. Um, what is your channel art? For those of you who have seen my channel art, um, Jeff from Code Zero Gaming made that. Once again, hashtag I don't do shit on my own. Um, he made that for me. Uh, it's kind of a combination of everything. Uh, oh, my God. Um, everything, you know, that interests me. So, if you notice on there, there's a coyote on it. That's self-explanatory. Um, there is, uh, the beach, which I absolutely love. I love the beach. I want to move there someday, and, uh, that's my goal, to move to a beach. Um, and then, of course, a police car, and, um, is, is also included. And then the backdrop is Phoenix, Arizona. That's the skyline that you guys see. So that explains my channel art. It's basically everything that I'm interested in, and, uh, and all of that good stuff, so... All right, my very last question is, what mods do you use? Um, so many, I can't even fucking remember. Um, I do know that most of the mods we use um, is Toescript, uh, Corners, uh, Police Helper, Bravehearts, Policing Script, Overtake Mod. Uh, I use Traffic Flow for my single players. I'm probably forgetting like four others. Um, and I'm, we're testing one out right now. The drug the drug mod, the one where I searched his vehicle for drugs, that's in test stage right now. So we're testing that one out. Um, so yeah. Uh, I believe that's all of them. I don't know. I probably forgot like three. So. Pull this jackass over. Get to the curb before I get angry. Alright guys, that is all the questions that I have. Um, so if... Uh, you know, if there's other questions you guys want me to answer, feel free to ask them anytime, and I'll feature them in the next uh, Q&A that I do. Uh, I'm going to end this episode with that. And uh, once again, guys, I greatly appreciate um, everyone for subscribing. Um, I hope, you know, I can continue to pump out these videos that you guys enjoy. And uh, keep sending your requests in. I will do them when I can. Um, I know some of you are getting a little impatient, and I, I understand. But you got to also understand I get a ton of requests a day. So I've already got, you know, a, a whole... Okay, this guy's just going to go to fucking jail. So I've already got, you know, an entire book, basically, of requests to do. Side of the road, stupid. Um, so yeah, guys, anyway, we're going to end it with that. I'm going to finish with this guy. And uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, everyone take care. We will see you next time on LCPDFR.